Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Ferguson. Today we are doing campfires and kayaks, a file from Little Scraps of Heaven Designs called Car Wash Elephants for the paper crafting YouTubers August Hop, which is campfires and kayaks. I've chosen to do this layout from complete creativity from close to my heart and I'm going to be joining it with those car wash elephants from Little Scraps of Heaven Design. So I'm really anxious to show you how I'm incorporating all of these images along with those adorable elephants for a layout that will meet this month's hop requirements that is hosted by Rachel Tallman. So thank you Rachel for these challenges each month with the prompt to come up with something that meets pretty much what the subject is. So I went ahead and stuck really to the theme and I'm doing an adventure layout where I will be incorporating campfires and kayaks. I'll show you later on in the video how I'm going to do that. What I did is I used Cricut Design Space and I cut out this layout from Close to My Heart. Now there are digital art files on my Maker website, but we also have the older cartridges from Close to My Heart as well as newer image sets from Close to My Heart on my Maker website. There are Cricut affiliate links or you can go into Cricut Design Space, look up the Close to My Heart uh, image sets and purchase them through a Maker. And so I went ahead and cut all this out. On the left you can see also that I have those pieces for the elephants cut out. I'm going to mimic what the layout looked like as designed by Close to My Heart, but I'm going to, as I said, add in the elephant. So I'm going to be leaving all of the steps in for this video for you to see my process. I simply cut them out with the cardstock. I normally would then use Close to My Heart inks and edge all of the ink, the edges, excuse me, and give them some dimension and some detail. But as you can see, there are a lot of pieces to this layout as well as to the elephant. So I chose not to ink the edges, but rather to be more detailed with the other things I'm going to add to this layout. So all of the trees, the title, you can see the little kayak there. And so that's where I went with this was to add more pieces rather than doing the more um, details with the ink and so forth. So now I'm going to be building the car from the car wash elephants and I'm, I always like to dry fit my pieces. So dry fitting means just laying the pieces on top of one another, making sure that I have all the pieces together, which way do they go, and then I go back and glue. Now how do I know where these pieces go? Well with the Little Scraps of Heaven design files, you also receive a PDF version and a JPEG. So with the JPEG, I pull it up on my desktop and I look at it and I build each of the pieces. So you can see the car is completed. There's also the PDF where you can print out where it's just the pieces separately. Then you could cut those out and fussy cut them out yourself you know, like a pattern if you don't have an electronic cutting machine or a scan and cut. So that just helps you to be able to do these files if you don't have any of those means. So remember how to do old paper dolls by cutting out a pattern and then gluing them together. That's basically what paper piecing is and can be done with those uh, PDF files. So this again is a car wash file. So with that would have been the bubbles from the soap and the pail would have had water in it and there would have been water splashing from the elephant's trunks but I didn't want to go the route of the car wash. I wanted it to fit into my adventure layout. So wherever the bubbles were on this particular file I changed the color to a brown to make it sand or dirt so that the little bug car was driven on this adventure and got a little bit of dirt from the water and the puddles and the trails. So I, that is how you can take these files and make them suit what it is that you're trying to do. So these are the elephants. There's a boy and there's a girl. And so I lay out all the pieces. You can see I have the feet, the legs, the body, the arms, and then the heads. And I just simply build down or up whichever way I find to be the easiest. So this particular time I started with the body and then added the legs and now I'm adding the feet and then I will adhere it onto the heads that I already put together. 
had I been doing these with all the inking and detailing, I would do eyelashes around the eyes. I would have chalked some highlights inside the eyes and some cheek with um, you know, a little bit of a blush on them. But again, I didn't decide to do that with this round. I have plenty of other videos on my channel where you can go back, type in paper piecing and you will find those videos. But it is one of my favorite things to do. So here is the pail. Now for the original version, it would have had bubbles coming out of it. I didn't cut any more of the bubbles. So I chose to just take some of my brown scrap and I'm just gonna cut out my own sand. So you can see it there on the little elephant girl's feet. I'm gonna put that behind the pail with some glue and then I'll go back with my scissors and trim away the excess that's coming out on the sides. So now we have a pail full of sand rather than a pail with water and soap suds. So when you cut out even the Cricut Design Space files, the digital art, the cartridges from days gone by that went into our older machines, when you cut these out or you're looking at trying to create something for your photos, don't be, you know, pulled away from something because this was a car wash file. How can you make it work with what it is you're going to do? Who would have thought to pull a car wash file when I'm going to be working on campfires and kayaks? Well, I just knew that there was a little car. I knew that they had some swimming suits on and so that it just went together very well. Plus I needed to meet some deadlines. So that forced me to think about this and outside of the box. So I'm creating some mats and you can see where I've gutted the back. I also took some white glitter paper from close to my heart and put it behind those stars. So I will hold it up here. Hopefully you can kind of see the little bit of glitter that, that sparkles behind those stars. I thought I held it up, maybe I didn't. Anyway, there is glitter paper behind those stars. So now that the mats are on the back, I'm gonna pull out this S'mores Adventure stamp set from Close to My Heart and I'm going to create some background with stamps. So Amanda with Crafting with Amanda, she is a fellow maker and also in Makers with Heart, who there are, I'm also in a collaboration with seven other makers. She taught us, Amanda did, how to do some background stamping. So this helps you to use your stamps to their fullest and to create your own pattern paper. So I chose to use crystal blue on this light blue background, kind of a, a monotone, not so vibrant of stamped images on here. And I chose to only do this, the tents two times I stamped the fire multiple times and then I'm also going to pull in a stick with a marshmallow and an individual marshmallow and put those around the campfire. So like making s'mores. I'm also going to pull a stamp that has a couple little asterisks on it just to give a little bit more detail. Now I did all this work and all of my other, you know, images and embellishments that are on the left are pretty much going to cover this up but I still left this in here because I wasn't sure what would be covered up and what wouldn't. And I wanted you to see how you could create your own background to fit your need. So I'm trying to fit the need. I need campfire and a kayak. So the kayak was from another close to my heart cricket, cricket um, image set, but I don't remember which one it was. Sorry guys. And I wanted to kind of show some waves in this torn paper here. So I'm just using the stylus on my squishy and just drawing them in. And so that kind of gives the effect of the waves and this will go across the page and the kayak will go on here as if it's going down the river. Thus the water that splashed the mud up on the little car. <laughs> so just trying to tie it in, trying to tell a story in this scrapbook layout. So there are those little waves that I drew in. So just a little bit more detail on this layout. So we've got the stars above with the glitter paper, the stamped images for the fireplace, the s'mores and the tents, and then we have our own little river. And I'm just going to place this down. So it's just kind of dry fitting all the pieces now. I dry fit to piece things together and then I dry fit things onto the layout. So here is a really good idea of how I'm gonna put this together. Mind you, I did lay the trees and stuff like it was on the original design with uh, the Close to My Heart makers, um, excuse me, the designers. Designers, makers, there's a lot of us. <laughs> 
So now just putting some fun foam behind the elephants because I want them to pop off the page. I did set the car back and it is flat onto the layout. Pretty sure the only things that I lift up with fun foam were the two elephants. So I hope you're seeing how this is just going to kind of pull together, how I'm taking, you know, things from different realms or different parts of my craft room here, making them work together for a collaboration hop. So in the description below, I will have links to my maker website, to Little Scraps of Heaven Designs, to the other people participating in the Paper Crafting YouTubers hop for this Campfires and Kayaks lovely collaboration. This was so fun to create. And then you will also find links to my personal uh, Kim Ferguson Paper Crafting Facebook group where I post about specials, about things I've got coming up, where my video links are, and then just anything else that we can, you know, as paper crafters, share information with one another. There, I did put fun phone behind the kayak. That's right. And then with the photo mats, I know I just put a little bit of adhesive at the bottom so I could poke the rest of the trees and things behind it. So we're just going to sit here for a minute as you see me finalize this layout, putting all the pieces down, getting them glued down really well with my Barely Art Glue. And it's going to be a layout ready for some camping pictures. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Please um, follow the other people, go around and like, subscribe, and share. And I hope to see you again real soon in another video. Take care and happy crafting. Bye-bye.